So, uh, hello guys, uh, welcome to Asian Petrit. Uh, let me just uh, kill the horn. Okay, let me just do over. Hello guys, welcome to Asian Petrit. Uh, really wanted to uh, give you a live streaming because uh, a parent company uh, bought this uh, Bongo 3. It's a Kia workhorse, a one ton pickup truck. And uh, get this closely, um, and it's all EV. So just really wanted to give you a quick look and because I think we'll be able to, because a parent company bought this, I think we can give you a long-term review on this uh, Kia Bongo. So in my mind, I think we can, you know, this is, uh, will be a first introduction, uh, taping off, uh, introducing the car, and then can also give you a in-depth review and night drive and range test. And uh, what we do, uh, move stuff around here and there, I and mean, we can, show it to you guys again. Um, okay, before I forget, uh, and this is a live streaming. Um, and by the way, thank you guys uh, so much for supporting us through uh, 2022 Kia Seltos review. And uh, before I forget, because uh, nowadays I keep forgetting everything, um, let me just give you a spec of this car. Uh, obviously this is not Kia EV6 or Hyundai Ioniq 5. So this is not based on the EGMP platform, but it is powered by 135 kilowatts electric motor turning the rear wheels and um, it produces about 181 horsepower and 395 newton meters of torque and you know I just we just got this car and uh, picked up from the dealer and uh, what well, we just drove uh, one block and coming up through this uh, parking structure it actually feels pretty nice I mean it's not like dual motor Kia EV6 dual motor fast but it's just very smooth and you know we used to drive that. If you can see, uh, it's a Hyundai Porter. It's powered by 2.5 liter diesel. I don't know how many, many horsepower. I don't think it makes even 100 horsepower. But you know, when you drive a you know pickup truck diesel, it's really you know noisy and smelly and just vibrating a lot. But this, just like here EV6, it just makes no noise. So it's pretty good. And um, battery size, if you can come here. Uh, Battery is located under here, under the bed. Uh, it's actually uh, one on each side. So I'm going to show you the other side, but it's actually on the both side. Uh, battery size 58.8 kilowatt hours. So yes, it's a lot smaller compared to something like a Kia EV6. Kia EV6 has a 77.4 kilowatt hour electric battery. And uh, charging also, this guy takes a little bit more time. You can charge here. Uh, it's a DC combo type. You can do uh, fast charging or just a uh, regular one on the top. So you can just uh, close everything like this. Or maybe steer the way around. Whoopsie. Let me just do it first. Like that. <laughs> okay, and also shows how much is being charged. Okay, uh, and this guy char takes about 54 minutes to charge from 0% to 80%, while uh, Kia EV6 takes only 18 minutes. So yeah, it's, it's not really that fast, okay? Um, what else do I need to tell you? Uh, this also uh, has, a, what do you call it? Uh, it's really nice that the Korean government is really giving out crazy, crazy amount of um, incentives because this one is higher trim. There's only two trims. Uh, we got the higher trims, uh, direct conversion. There's no international pricing, but direct conversion, uh, this Kia Bongo 3 EV will cost you about 36K US dollars, but government is giving you about 16K uh, US dollars government incentives. So uh, you only pay 20K for this car, um, which is around a uh, very similar price for new uh, Kia Bongo. So. That's what it looks like. Uh, so if you have any questions, uh, this is a live streaming. So if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comment sections. Yeah, let me just... Uh... Oh, about the range. I forgot to tell you about the range. Uh, range, uh, there's no EPA or WLTP uh, numbers just yet, but uh, this here in Korea is supposed to get about 211 kilometers, which is only about 131 miles. So, wow, thank you guys all for tuning in. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section, please. Uh, 
Well, well the uh, comments, it was just here. It's, I don't see it anymore. Okay. Okay, so Bongo. <laughs> Bongo, yeah. It, it's, it's like a Kia sibling of a Hyundai Porter. It's a workhorse. Um, Pools are so, so tiny. Yes, uh, this is uh, this is uh, actually has a uh, two tires uh, with a leaf spring on the back. It's wearing a 145 <laughs> watt 13 by 88. So it's a small tires. Um, and one interesting is a uh, rear drive. Do you, can you see that uh, difference of the uh, what do you call it uh, the drive shaft? So actually uh, turning the uh, rear wheels. And uh, yeah, so we have a truck bed here. Any questions? What about the weight of towing? Towing, uh, I don't know, but you can load up to uh, one ton. That's why it's called one ton truck, like that. So if you can show this side, uh, it also has a battery on this size too. So, so right there, that's the battery, okay? The range, uh, probably uh, not with the uh, loaded. So this is uh, what the key fob looks like. Uh, just has a lock and unlock button. But uh, just like my Hyundai Palisade, uh, Kia has something called a Kia Connect. Let me just, uh, it's not in English, but you can, oh, no password. <laughs> you can open the door. Uh, I'm not connected. So it also shows uh, how much uh, range it has, uh, battery percent. Can also uh, reserve the one to charge and stuff like that. But uh, huh? See, oh, see, so just open. So there we go. So it's pretty nice. You can also check out the uh, climate and everything. So. Yeah. Yes, we're gonna definitely give you a range test with this car. Horsepower, uh, 181 horsepower, and uh, what do you call it? Uh, 395 newton meters of torque. So let me just uh, put all the. This is what as uh, new as it gets. So when you get this car, um, they give you. I don't know. Thank you, something. Um, I don't know what they give you. Let's see. Oh, they give you a phone number. So you can just make your phone number and put them up there. So that's pretty cool. So before we do, let me just show you the interior. You can show it to here. So this is what Bongo 3 looks like. <laughs> Lots of uh, covers here, here and there. So I get to do the honor, unwrap this guy. So we have some cup holders here. Nice storage, nice storage area actually with some nets. Yeah, pretty cool. And uh, this guy's good. Also. Oh, there's so much. <laughs> just rip it out. I think I think we can just. Uh, I think you're supposed to. You know, if you have a driven bongo or porter, uh, the engine service area is right here. But rather, they just have a. What do you call it? The radiator. I think that's for the uh, AC. I don't know some dry shaft. So it's pretty much empty in there. So that's a nice service area there. You can lock it like that. Okay. So we have a gear selector looking just like, uh, okay, let me just start the car, the truck. Okay. So it does not have any, that diesel clunking sound or anything like that. Um, and because this is, um, what do you call it? 
all electric vehicle. Uh, they uh, they have uh, blue stitchings right here on the steering wheel. Mm. They taped it really nice. I mean, ugh, too much. And we also have a regen braking, a new Kia logo. Can you believe this on the, on the truck? New Kia logo. We also have a cruise control, not adaptive, but regular cruise control. And uh, we also have a lane keep assist, so it's pretty nice. Uh, we seem to have a 4.2 inch screen right up here. Ooh, Apple CarPlay too. Wait a minute. Then this has a wireless charging, wireless uh, Apple CarPlay? No, does it? Phone projection. Phone projection. Phone projection. Okay, so you need to use the cable, okay. Okay, uh, I don't know how large that is, but it seems to be like a eight inch, nine inch. Um, so yeah, I mean, the steering wheel was pretty nice. Uh, we have a, like I told you, blue accents here. Yeah, it's pretty good. And if you have any, any questions, let me know in the comment section. And also blue st stitchings uh, on here and over there as well. So, and it's also nice to have an auto hold, dry motion selector as well. But, auto electric parking event. Oh, see, it just goes from eco to no eco. So, I mean, we have a, you know, very simple USB charging port slash some EV controls and a nice AC with a full auto. Oh, we also have a heat pump here. So that's pretty amazing. And also, we also have a backup camera and also folding side mirrors. Do you see that? So it's pretty nice. Okay. Any questions? Yeah. See, we had an engine down here, so we don't anymore. So it's much better now. Let me just let me just find those uh, before I fly away. What's that? Thank you. So yeah, I just really wanted to uh, give you a little introduction to uh, just happy, right? <laughs> because we have a long, long-term review uh, candidate. So uh, yeah, we're gonna sell that car. Uh, I think they're gonna give us like a thousand dollar, but uh, it's it's been here forever. Uh, it's all beat up diesel. So goodbye Hyundai and hello Kia. It's got a new Kia logo, right? Uh, we'll give you design and everything uh, when we do. But as you can see, we have a lane keep assist and a navigation and the black box is a aftermarket one, okay? So yeah, let me just, uh, if you have any questions, what's the beside rear mirror? on the windshield. What's the be beside the rear view? Oh, that one, like I told you, it's, it's a black box, right? This one, this one is a black box. Uh, got it as a pre present from the friend. Ground clearance, I don't know, Vegan. Uh, we just got this car, um, but it seems to be yeah, not bad. We'll check it out uh, when we do the car review. Yeah, Jamaica, Seth, nice. Yes, uh, Moonwalker, we're gonna definitely test drive it, but not today because we just don't have time, but we'll give you a uh, test drive and also uh, do many things. So just really wanted to. Hey, Tim, huh? thank you. 
Thank you guys all for tuning in. So just, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been tough because uh, the COVID-19 is really skyrocketing, going crazy. I think we're like number one to most uh, cases found COVID uh, here in Korea. So uh, everybody is going locked down and uh, we just didn't have uh, much new cars coming out uh, from uh, makers such as uh, Hyundai, Kia <coughs> and Genesis. But uh, yeah, we'll stay, we're staying safe. Uh, just want to just give to you a, a quick look at this car. Okay, so uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And uh, if you have any last questions, uh, I will be happy to answer them. Yeah, Seth, you know about this car. You do this. Side fold. It's a pickup truck, so you can do this, right? And you can do this, right? So it's easier for you to load and unload uh, heavy things. Okay. So Seth knows about this bongo. What is the range? Uh, just Korean spec. Uh, there's no EPA or WLTP. Uh, 211, which is only 131 horsepower I mean miles manufacturer battery I do not know I I, th I assume it's uh, supplied by LG I don't know I, I think it is are you gonna customize it no moonwalker <laughs> this is this belongs to a company so I cannot tune it but uh, I definitely show you uh, how it drives how it looks and the range test and everything as uh, we get more chance okay yeah, vegans, I uh, really hope uh, our corona just goes away uh, because automakers are just postponing all the uh, new car, what do you call it, uh, launching dates here in Korea. I don't know, Carlisman, I really hope you guys can get this bongo, but I think you have a very uh, high competition in North America, uh, you don't find this sort of a uh, small truck in US, right? You, you get like Tacoma, Ford Ranger, uh, Chevy Colorado, but this is like really low, like sort of workhorse. It's not made to, so that you look cool. It's just, just so that you can work. Here in Korea, many, um, what do you call it? Uh, workers use this uh, and many companies uh, who are supplying goods and stuff just use this car everywhere and uh, it's really nice that Kia is making all EV uh, because uh, these guys just drive around small towns everywhere um, and it was powered by diesel but now not anymore it's powered all EV um, so if you can charge it I mean it takes no gas and emission zero um, but some people say you know even producing electricity is polluting, but then I cannot, I have no words to say that, to that, okay? Yeah, it's, it's, Moonwalker is getting warm. It's, it's spring is round corner, so yeah. And uh, stay tuned guys, because next week uh, we have, uh, we're going for a long trip, uh, for two days trip uh, to Gyeongju, uh, which is with the, uh, with the Kia Niro, uh, new, so, Gonna go for about uh, 10,000 kilometers uh, range test, so or efficiency test. So stay tuned for next week as well. And next week, I think uh, in about next uh, Sunday, Sunday, we're going to do a live streaming as well. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section when we get there. Okay? Where's the battery located? Right here. That's a good question. So this, this. Uh, let me just. So let's be careful because we do not want any. Ah. Okay, battery is, let me just. Battery is right there. On, on both sides. Kia Sportage in Canada, nice, Boyan. CVT automatic, uh, this is all electric vehicle, so no gears, okay? For pricing, uh, like I told you, uh, there's a two trim. This is higher trim, uh, fully loaded. This will 
cost you about 36k US dollars, but there's a government incentives. Obviously, no, no one will buy this uh, truck in 36k US dollars, but there's a government incentives about 16k US dollars, so you only have to pay 20k, which is, uh, like I told you, very similar, a little bit more expensive compared to a regular diesel truck. So I think, yeah, that's why our company bought it too. We used to have an old <laughs> diesel one, but we just have this one, so yeah. And let me just let you, let me just let you hear it drive by a little bit. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I cannot open the window. Yeah, so I just really wanted to show you how quiet it is. I mean, just, it even has to make this, uh, you know, UFO sound, woo, because it's so quiet. No one will notice you coming drive by. And uh, when you back up, it makes that beep beep noise to warn the pedestrians as well. Yes, Joe, right, 1,000 kilogram. Does the belt tilt? No, uh, Tim, you can get, uh, not with the EV. If you get a diesel one, you can also get a dump dumper, but there isn't any option for the uh, EV. Or maybe I could be wrong. I'll get back to you on that. Um, I think you have to buy another as an option, but this one does not. Yep. So. Hi, Ozzy. Appa. So, Honda K truck, I gotta check that out. I didn't know that was such a thing. Yes, Moonwalker, the other side also falls. This all three sides falls down. Do you want me to show it to you? <laughs> yeah. So. Yes, rear tires are so skinny, but it's got two of them, dualies on both sides, so. Yeah, Australia, uh, I know you guys have a uh, Sangyong, Muso, Lexton in uh, Australia. It seems to be that you guys are uh, really uh, liking Korean cars. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I hope you guys uh, get this one and Hyundai Porus, the camping car and everything uh, in Australia. Yeah. Hello, calm down. Um, yeah. Yeah, TK, I agree. I mean, some people just argue that even producing electricity is also bad, but yeah, yeah. Horsepower for this truck, uh, 135 kilowatts, so 181 horsepower and uh, 395 newton meters of torque. I think the wheels are so tiny. Uh, yeah, for efficiency, but even the diesel ones uh, come with the uh, small tires, so I think they're just designed, even the suspension and everything, leaf suspension at the rear. So I think it's just how it is, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> calm down, yes. Yes, low center of gravity, I'm uh, gonna check the handling, but low center of gravity probably is gonna help a lot, right? We have a battery, here over there, 58.8 kilowatt hour, two of them, so should be quite nice. But uh, yeah, I don't wanna, I don't wanna break it because our boss gonna get mad. So I'm just gonna drive it slowly, okay? Oh yeah, thank you, Seek. I don't know if I pronounced it right, but uh, yeah, good morning. Um, the Elantra N was a blast to drive. Yeah, yeah, Harley. So, if you have any questions, any anything you'd like to see, uh, let me know in the comment section. I don't know if anything opens. I think something opens here. So, uh, this something opens. <laughs> okay, they they give you some tool in case you get a flat. 
And that seems like a washer fluid. Yeah, so there's nothing much inside. So, and we have a tiger nose grill. <laughs> yep, so is it safe? Uh, that's a good point because this is a cap over type, right? Uh, cap over type. So if you crash, uh, there isn't much here to protect you. So, you know, your legs is quite vulnerable. So you have to drive slowly, right? There isn't anything like there isn't any transmissions or anything like that. It's just, uh, it's just uh, thin still. So, yeah not good for your legs. So you have to be drive carefully. Yes, Joe, range will uh, vary, but uh, we don't have any uh, WLTP or EPA numbers just yet. But uh, here in Korea, they're saying, oh, sorry. They're saying 211s kilometers. And it's uh, really nice that uh, you even get a phone app. You can uh, start the car, uh, warm the car, and uh, change the uh, climate control and everything. Okay, so uh, how many airbags? I don't know, maybe six. Uh, six is even lots, maybe four. Uh, I'll get back to you on that as well when we do the review, okay? Yep, I have a runny nose. So, yeah. New car smell, yes, let me see. Yeah, new car smell. It's probably coming from the glue and everything, but definitely. Uh, there's also some storage area here behind, but this is no double cap, okay? All right, definitely new smart car smell, yes. So, wow, we have more reviews coming, so I cannot end this, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections. How many seconds to uh, 60? I'm sure it's possible. Uh, I'm just guessing, right? Uh, I think it's gonna be like eight seconds or nine seconds because uh, Kia EV6 with the uh, rear wheel drive, single motor, took about seven seconds, I think. So this guy will, I think, take about, I could be wrong, or eight, nine seconds. What do you use the truck for? Um, I don't use it, but uh, our parent company, uh, they do a lot of things. Uh, they move around stuff and st so they have, it's a tour company, our parent company. So uh, we don't get to use it. They use uh, equipment and stuff like that, go around. So it's perfect workhorse, right? Cool. Yeah, if you have missed it, if you just got here, uh, we're just uh, saying, introducing this, uh, this truck, all EV truck from Kia, Bongo 3. Uh, our parent company just bought it uh, and we just got it, just like right now, literally like uh, before we started doing the uh, live streaming. Um, so I just really wanted to show it to you guys and share the, uh, you know, peeling off the, uh, the, the covers and vinyls and everything. So uh, yeah, so I think in my mind, I'm just gonna give you a long-term test drive with this car. Many times, uh, night drive, you know, in-depth review, range test. Uh, as we go along, if something comes up, um, yeah, we're gonna show it to you. Uh, maybe can we can also compare it to other electric vehicles. <laughs> I don't know, maybe do a drag race, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Front wheel drive, no, this is rear wheel drive. If you see, there's a, there's a drive shaft. This bongo is actually, um, river drive to begin with, uh, with a diesel, and right there, you see the uh, shaft. <coughs> Sorry. So, yep, that's right. See, we can ch tire size, um, very small 145, 13C, 88. So, it's like my hand is like this so it's a tiny one it's a dually but the front front is actually uh where are you 195 15. yeah 
so still small. Yeah, see, that's that right. So a lot of uh, construction workers use this, uh, you know, who has to uh, deliver like goods, markets, everybody just uses. Uh, so, uh, but nowadays I, I see lots of EVs going around because uh, it's, it's m much easier for them to, uh, what do you call it, uh, take care of and then also charging. You don't need any diesel, just plug it in. Uh, we also order the, uh, the charger too, our company. So uh, next week uh, when we get a chance, we're gonna also show you how this car charges. Um, we can go to like public uh, charging station that charges about like 20, $20 uh, for about 80% charging. That's quick charging, but we all, we just got a, like a, you know, s slow charging one um, that takes about nine hours, but it's really in more inexpensive. So we just got a slow one. We can just, you know, plug in here and just use that. Yeah, <laughs> I really, I, I really wish I can just soup it up, but you know, it's a company car. Huh? <laughs> They're gonna get mad, okay? How much gas? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how much to tell you. It's it's about uh, 1,801, 1,801 per liter. So I'm so good with the math. I cannot, <laughs> I cannot do it uh, over my head. But uh, you guys have it in like uh, gallon, right? So it's it's totally different. The all the things are different. So. Can the battery change easily? No. Uh, the battery, the regular battery is right here. This is, this is for auxiliary. The regular battery is right here for, you know, other things. And uh, the rear battery for the EV is right there. And uh, I'm not sure if it's easy to change it. Hope we don't have to change it. <laughs> Yeah, drag race against the diesel. Uh, he's too old, right? She's too old. Like, we cannot... I don't think she's going to be able to do the 0-60. Uh, heated seats. Uh, let me see. I don't know. We just got this car. Uh, heated seats. Uh, I don't think there's any... Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh my God, we have a cooled and heated seats just for the driver's seat. How, how bad is that? I mean, we also get heated steering wheel, but nothing for passenger side, nothing. Damn, that's cold, okay? So, I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, I like this guy. Uh, one of my uh, closer journalists uh, drives a uh, Hyundai Hyundai Porter EV, and he really loves it. Uh, he just drives around town just like a car, and he says he really likes it. So, okay. So, yeah, Randy, that's that's what my friend said. He he has a he has a Hyundai Hyundai Porter EV, and he just drives it like a regular car. So, let me just put other tapes out. The new. This is a, my task for doing live streaming for borrowing the car. <laughs> so, I mean, any questions, I might have to go to the other side. Hey. So let's just leave them. Let me just do that other seat. Does it have Apple CarPlay? Yes, it does. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but uh, I don't have cables. You need a cable for a system to work, but I just don't have any cable. Ooh. I don't know how this works. I just, uh, let's just tear it apart. Okay, any more questions? More people coming in. Oh, ooh, ooh. one of them just blew away, sorry.
So I think I got pretty much. Oh, this also do that. Very nice. Uh, handle. Oh, it just does not telescope. Okay. So any more questions? More people coming in. Okay. Yeah. So really wanted to. Uh, Say hello to you guys. Uh, it's been it's been rough uh, January and February because, like I told you, COVID going away like off the ceiling. So uh, many automakers are just delaying a new car, and uh, we had like a lunar happy New Year, lots of uh, holidays. So it's been a little bit busy. Uh, so it's it's really nice to be talking to you guys. Okay, looks comfortable. It is comfortable. What color does it come in? It comes in white, blue, a few other colors. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, if you guys do not have any more questions, I think I'm going to end the live streaming. It's been quite long. Yeah. Yeah, hardly. I mean, it's so unfair. It, the driver seat gets both heated and ventilation. It's nothing for the passenger side. Come on, Kia. Yeah, Gene, I, I really wanted to share it. I mean, because uh, this is totally Kia workhorse, but it's EV. They turn into EV. Uh, and uh, for press cars, you know, Kia never, Hyundai Kia never has a press car for commercial vehicles. And this is one of the commercial vehicles. And if we, our company didn't buy it, we have uh, no chance to show it to you guys, but we have it here. Can I show you the folding side mirrors? Yeah. <laughs> we have a folding side mirrors. <laughs> Which is so funny. Yeah, we just got it tinted too. So, and not open it. BTS edition. I'd love to show it to you guys. <laughs> And this, many of you guys ask what this is. Uh, when you buy a car in Korean, uh, this is to protect the uh, door things. Uh, we can just take it out. Well, let's just leave it there. So this, these are final ones, ASMR. Okay. So it's, it's when we do reviews, I'm gonna show you, but it's mostly hard hard plastic here and there she got it got it tinted yeah uh -huh. huh just cannot find where it is last one yay job done okay any more questions if not yeah Looks like you guys are leaving. Does it have a hitch? Uh, no hitch. <laughs> New car smell? Yes, definitely. Uh, the glue and everything. All right, guys, uh, I just really wanted to give you a quick look uh, because this is the new truck, EV truck from Kia Bongo. We got it, just got it today. So just really wanted to uh, show it to you guys, introduce to you guys uh, because this will be uh, long-term uh, tester so hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, we'll be back with much much more so if you love cars and car reviews please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future thank you guys see you soon stay healthy and bye bye